So you got an Osmo Action as a Christmas gift. I'm going to show you three ways on how to use the Osmo Action like a pro. These time-lapse videos are all shot using the Osmo Action. I'm going to show you how to do it. First, here's what you need. A mini tripod or a regular size tripod. ND filters. And the latest firmware installed on your Osmo Action. To begin, I mount my Osmo Action on the tripod. Then I go into the time-lapse mode. I suggest shooting with manual settings to adjust the ISO and the shutter speed. You want to keep the ISO as low as possible to avoid a noisy image. And the shutter speed should be as long as possible to get beautiful motion blur. If your shot looks too bright, you need to attach the ND filter to bring down the brightness. You also need to set the white balance to the one that matches the scene. Avoid using auto white balance as it gives inconsistent color temperature when shooting. And I prefer to turn on the dewarp effect to get rid of the wide angle distortion in my shots. Then I will set up the shooting interval. Depending on your scene, if there are fast moving subjects, you might need to set a shorter interval like 3 to 5 seconds. Set a longer interval for slower moving subjects in your shot. Then move on to set the duration of your time lapse. Don't forget to change the resolution to 4K on the top right corner. Before you press the button and start shooting, I suggest you plug the Osmo Action into a power bank and let it charge while it shoots. You never know when the battery will run out. One bonus tip, you can get a really nice time-lapse video if you shoot from day to night. The Osmo Action can capture epic slow-motion videos. In slow-motion mode, it can shoot Full HD video at 240 frames per second. That gives you an 8x slow-motion effect. It works best outdoors in sunny weather. Before shooting slow-mo videos, you want to set the color as this cine light. This cine light color profile removes the digital look in your video and gives a better dynamic range and color to the footage. It's okay to shoot in auto mode, or you can go manual if you want to adjust the ISO and shutter speed. Once you are all set, you can look for some action scenes and frame some epic slow-mo videos. To do vlogs on the Osmo Action, you need to mount the camera on a mini tripod or the selfie stick. Then you have to press and hold the quick switch button on the side to turn on the selfie screen. I suggest shooting in 4K, 60 frames per second for smoother shots. And remember to turn on lock steady to make your shots more steady. The built-in mic is pretty good for casual talking and even singing. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching and fever pitch as rain in me out of the dark It can definitely handle casual vlogging if you are looking for a small vlogging setup. So that's all for the three ways you can use the Osmo Action like a pro. With more practice, you can achieve better shots. And don't forget to keep your Osmo Action updated with the latest firmware.